Oh, man. The sense of dizziness that I'd experienced so many times before slowly faded. I was standing in the middle of the room holding my phone. There was no question that I was reading Steiner. The world line had changed, but why? And what was the cause? Was it a message from Amadeus? No, I could... I could worry about that later, ca cause later, for now I needed to know what was going on. I looked around the lab, the place hadn't seemed to change much, but several people were missing. Missing ones were Kaide, Fubuki, and Ferris. Damn it! Dora was sitting in front of his PC like always, and Mayuri was in the kitchen making instant coffee. Hey, when did you get here? She handed the steaming co hot coffee to Maho, who was sitting on the sofa. <laughs> What's going on? Why is Amadeus stuff affecting the past? <gasps> Maho. Maho was here at the lab. Before the world line changed, she would, should have been at her office in Waco City. I <sighs> ありがとう。でも大丈夫。そこまでお腹は空いていないから。それにあんなことがあった以上ホテルを買えないとは手続きが必要。今日は休むべきじゃねえ。顔色も良くないし、なんならラボに泊まっていけばいいよ。I did it have something to do with Amadeus being taken over? Maho, Daru, and Mayuri all seemed stunned at the question. Uh, please explain what's going on. Amadeus, what did you I tried asking, but Maho just frowned as if she didn't know how to answer. Did that mean Amadeus wasn't taken over at all in this world line? <laughs> Who is this? What? Oh, come on. There's nobody in the Waco City office right now. What the fuck? Why would she be sending me a rhyme? <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, I'm get, I'm getting this. This is what's going on. What the hell is going on, buddy? I'm getting lost. I'm getting confused. I screamed when I realized the Moka was right behind me. Why is she? What the hell? Why are you here? <laughs> Uh, I've been behind you the whole time. What? Sure, I may not stand out much, but seeing you look like you just ran into a ghost kind of hurts, you know. <laughs> Did that mean she, I had told Moika she had come to the lab? What was going on here? <laughs> She was probably talking about the Brain Science Institute office in Waco City. No one was there. Why? Moka's fingers raced over the phone. I had just explained this. There was a gas leak at the lab yesterday. The facility's been locked down until they determine the cause. Dr. Hiajo and Professor Leskinen and Dr. Alex I have moved their lab to Tokyo Denki University in the meantime. What? What the fuck? 
I didn't remember that. The world line changed. It must have altered the past. What the hell has changed? So did the Hyojo Sawa Kokoni? It did a show. Sorry, my arcado. Kesa, hotel in the hair, got a saretate. Sorry, the Yamanaku. Kiryu san Kayu de Okabe san Yenda Koto. Was it Yoku, Bujatana? Dorobotova, Dekuasanaka. Eh, Unga Yokatawa. Nah, so that's how. I kind of understood how Maho had arrived here. Tokurode Kagariba Dosir. Dara looked at me again confused. Woy. Mayuri smiled. Okay, what's changed? What? Iwati? Why Iwati? I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. I know I'm not. Where did that come from? She doesn't have a family. But she doesn't have a family. Where's Yuki? Things had changed more than I had expected. Uh, or imagined. Yeah? If Kagari was in Iwate, that meant that we hadn't been attacked last night, too. Since they've attacking Kagari, they hit Moe, uh, Maho's hotel room. Why? This is getting confusing. I knew it would make her think I was a weirdo, but I had Maho explain to me what happened once more. From what she said, most of yesterday hadn't changed much. Maho, Daru, Fubuki, Kaide, Nai, and I had all gone to the Yanabayashi shrine. So, uh, Suzaha smile. Luka, Mayuri, Kagri, Suzaha, and Ferris were all helping at the shrine in their priestess outfits. That fit what I, with what I remembered. Uh, did... <laughs> Oh no! Is that happened still? After that, we went to Lukaku's house and had a small New Year's party. And then Lukaku's father shared some surprising news with us. He found out that someone who might be a relative to Kagari's lived in Iwati. Everyone is excited because they, if they found a relative, it might be the key to getting Kagari's memories back. So early this morning, Lukaku and Ferris went with them to Iwati. Meanwhile, Mahu had gotten a call from Dr. Alex on her way back from the party. That's when he told her about the gas leak at the office in Waco City. One of the pipes on another floor had some sort of problem, and a small amount of poisonous gas had leaked out into the air. They didn't know what the cause was right now. Fucking gas attacks. Until they know the cause, they decided to shut down the office for safety reasons. Depending on what they found, it could take anywhere from a week to a month to resolve the issue. I'm so fucking lost. Maho had a lot of work to do because of the office closure and she was at once out and she was out working until morning. Then she went back to the hotel and slept until she was woken up by a call around the 10 a.m. Can you not clean up your apartment or hotel room? Always charge your phone during when you're sleeping. She'd fallen asleep without even changing clothes. She rubbed her sleepy eyes and left the room wearing the same outfit she'd worn had the uh, last day. She'd grabbed her bag, which held a bunch of her documents and her computer, since she thought she needed it for the interview. In the end, that was what saved her. There's so many people in the lobby that I didn't think I could conduct a good interview. そして部屋に入ったらたった数分の間に空き巣が入り込んで部屋中を荒らし回った後だった。ご丁寧にベッドも枕もナイフで裂かれてて部屋が綿まみれになってたわ。What the fuck? 
気が動転しちゃって何もできなかった。Afterwards, I called to the front desk and then the police. After the police got done with their questioning, Dr. Hia Jo still hadn't calmed down, so I decided to me message you and have her rest at the lab. Wait, wait, wait. Is there anything I've. No. Was anything stolen? Huh. <laughs> They stayed long enough to tear open everything. They were clearly looking for some information. They were clearly I didn't need to tell her what I was thinking about the ones that had belonged to Karisu. Mama pointed it to the bag sitting beside the sofa. サンギョスパイの類いならPCとか書類とかでしょうねオフィスのガス漏れの件は関係していると思うかさあどうかしらおっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、お
となると、ヒアジョーさんがバッグに入れていた。They're either on her laptop or phone. でも、それの存在って、知っているのは先輩と私と岡部だけのはずよ。あと僕も。なるほど。俺か誰のどちらかが犯人じゃない限り。もう一つ可能性があるとすれば。Or she put her finger to her temple. What does she know? Say your code, come she did not. Say your code? So let the candy shop a sword to me turn the moon. Just a chill out. Okabe Niva, mine is me, Stawayone. Amadeus no system no Nakaniva, what does she take a access the kill? Kyokuyo. Oh, oh, she meets no Niki no Yona Monoda to it, Tana. So, Naibu Gaibo to us, what does she need cancer access? Well. 常にその秘密の日記の中にログが残るもし誰かが私の意思を奪って自由に制御するためにシステムを改造したとする<笑>でも秘密の日記の中まではいじれないから私は両者を比較して改造が行われたことを突き止め元に戻せるわけ that, あ把握したその秘密の日記を開ける鍵が制御コードなのかそういうことアマデウスのシステムやデータの管理責任者はレスキネン教授だけど制御コードを知っているのはこの世界でただ一人マホ先輩だけなのそうなのか<笑>ええクリスの言う通りよ仮にその空き巣が私の研究成果を狙っていたのだとしたら手に入れられるのはそれくらいねそ,それは盗まれていないのか大丈夫よね先輩あいや totally those are safe <笑>ええ制御コードはどこにもメモなんかしてないマホを見つけたのは、テンポルを見つけたのは、私の頭の中にしかないから。That seemed like a dangerous way to keep them stored, honestly.If the thief found that out, they'd, have, they'd come after Maho herself next. しかし、参ったわね。そうか。制御コードを狙ってるかもしれないのね。日本をすぐに離れるわけにはいかないけどまた襲われるのは避けたいわとはいえどうしたものかしら落ち着くまでラボにいるといいよそれともマユシーのお家に来るありがとうマユリさんでもそこまで厄介にはなれないわ It hadn't happened in this world line, but I still found myself remembering the attack on Kagari. Neither Mayuri's house nor the lab seemed safe. So, did they mean that you sneaked down on Kaya? An hour later, we'd all gone to Paris's condo. Mean that a son's on so done standard. Fate is no man's on me. 数日滞在させてもらうのが最善なんじゃないかってえっと何と言ったらいいか I mean if the going back to the lab thing if that never happened I'm not gonna get any information if Yuki's in innocent or guilty good she's still innocent innocent until proven guilty my boys <laughs> Maho seemed hesitant but Ferris crossed her arms and nodded satisfied この結論は間違ってないにゃ確かにこのマンションは万全のセキュリティで守られているから安全にゃそれに黒木もいるし That's all I need to know 黒木さっき玄関であった羊さんだよ本物の羊さんなんだよああでもそれがどうしたの黒木さんは最強羊なんだは
I'll pass on explaining it more than that. Honestly, I don't know the details myself. I don't think it was a good idea to ask him either. He's just an amazing guy, that's all. I was about to say, uh, about to say that it was dangerous. Kiryu Moeko would be around her. Could be around her. At least I still didn't trust her. But. それ、いいんじゃね。キリュウ氏って裏家業に片足突っ込んでる関係でご真実も身につけてるって言ってたじゃん。でしょ。In the end, my opposition to it was completely ignored. Nah, it's fine. I don't mind them staying together. I trust them. And the next day was the last day of New Year's break. I came to Akihabara for the third day in a row. I wanted to visit Ferris's condo and check on Maho. <laughs> I want to check on Yuki. I'm sorry. Maho and Moeka had ended up staying together yesterday without anyone really thinking about it. Moeka would get in it, get to interview Maho, get her interview Maho, and Maho would feel better having someone around. So this was probably the best option. But I knew something about Moeka that no one else did. Mo Kiryu Moeka was a rounder. She didn't know self-defense. She knew how to kill someone if she needed to. But who would she try to kill? In this world line, I wasn't looking for the IBM 5100 or making a time machine. The rounders were probably ignoring us. I <laughs> Even on the last day of vacation, Akihabara was as lively as ever. Hours were shorter than usual, but everyone from the appliance stores to the May cafes were still open. In fact, they were, there were lucky bags and special New Year sales 
that you could only get today, and some customers had come for those. The sidewalks were filled with girls in dazzling kimonos who'd come from the nearby shrines, as well as the usual Akihabara otaku. The place was even more chaotic than usual. Ferris and Mayuri both said that they were working there today. Karaoke should be here too, I guess. It was hard to imagine Moika doing anything to Maho, like for example attacking her. Moika had no reason to do that. But even if that in my head, it didn't make controlling my emotions any easier. It bugged me enough last night that I had barely been able to sleep. If I saw the two of them living together without any kind of problem, maybe I'd feel better. I hurried, uh, hurried to Ferris's condo. I think you'll be fine. Wow, you look a lot different. Kuroki the butler welcomed me. He was the ultimate butler who'd take care of, taken care of Ferris after her parents died and left her all, all alone. Wait, did Kuroki have a sprite or not? I think he did. Because I don't rem seem to remember him. He still had helped her in her work and was one of the few people that she trusted completely. And then I'll, I'll just wait for her to come back. Uh, yes. Thanks, buddy. Kuroki spun around 180 degrees in the same trained effortless movement as always, and then went to take the shortest path back to his room. He must have tripped because he staggered slightly and stopped. You okay? Oh, as long as you okay, man. Uh, go ahead and take a nap, buddy. I won't need you. His expression didn't change, but the tone of Kuroki's voice was slightly embarrassed as he headed to his room. Yeah, having extra people sleeping here. No, for now I need to worry about Maho. I was stunned as I came into the room. It was definitely the same guest room I had been in several times before, probably, but everything about it had changed. Oh my fucking god! Can you not live like a fucking rational human being and clean this fucking room? First, the bed was gone and it had been replaced by a big desk and a low a Japanese table. Ma was sitting at the desk looking at a 16-inch laptop as she sipped coffee from a mug. There was a small laptop on the low table and Maoka was kneeling directly on the carpet in front of it. Her legs played, tipping, uh, taping, uh, taping away at the key keyboard. Tapping away, fuck. Behind them was a steel bookshelf and I could see English language journals and fashion magazines sticking out of it. Till yesterday, this has been a guest room. In less than a day, it had been transformed into Maho and Moika's workspace. This is absolutely disgusting. Maho put down uh, the coffee cup and without looking away from the screen, which was filled with complicated and constantly changing 3D parts. <laughs> Moika tapped uh, at the key silently without even bothering to look at me. It's actually just a screensaver. I quickly covered my mouth with my hand, but the two of them were so engrossed in the work they didn't respond at all. Yes. Once she hit it at a stopping point, Maho spun, ar spun around in her chair to face me. She didn't seem to think anything was out of the ordinary. 
I just made sure this place hasn't burned down yet. No, it's not. It's it's like a tornado hit it. Well, I was seeing confused for a moment, but finally seemed to understand what I was saying. They went far beyond what I'd call reorganization. Neither Daru nor I were very good at cleaning, but we weren't this bad. What is this? What is going on? I can write articles anywhere, but I'm a bodyguard, so I need to stay by he Dr. Hiejo's side. Fucking Christ. <laughs> I swear to God, you're so far behind the times. You can get almost anything off the net in a, days, in a day these days. In a day these days. I asked Dr. Hiejo what she wanted in order to off the net. God damn, <sighs> goddamn one day shit thing. I was sure you wouldn't absolutely destroy this room, but you know, whatever. I thought the world line had changed, but I ha and I hadn't realized it. But evidently, I'd been worried worried over nothing. Probably not. That's why he's tired because you forced him to do all this work. Poor old bastard. That explained a lot, but just hearing all this, it exhausted me. I found a place to sit down in. I thought I caught my foot on something and looked down to see a thick book. It, its pages open. Why not put a book marker in it? What the fuck? Yeah, or just the lazy approach. I, 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 I just don't know. This, this world line is just fucked in all kinds of ways. I looked at the floor and saw four other open books. That wasn't all. The carpet was strewn with papers and used cups of instant ramen, bath towels, handkerchiefs, and other things. Their old clothes were lying out too. I saw a skirt, a t-shirt, a blouse, socks, tights, and other kinds of uh, items of clothing. It was just a... It was a lot like when I had visited Moeka's house in the other world line before all of this. Evidently, neither Moeka nor Maha were the type to worry about keeping themselves clean. Ugh, Jesus. There was enough space around the low table to move, but there was enough junk around where Moeka was sitting that it would be impossible to sit next to her. This is unreal. Oh, thank God. You're not a complete hoarder, then. 